Welcome to PUC Online Classroom. So today we're going to start a new lesson, but be before we start a new lesson, uh, we need to focus on the activities that I asked you to do. So I remember that I asked you to listen to this interaction in my opinion. So I asked you to listen to part B and you need to answer to the question in part C, right? So you need to find similar expressions uh, from the conversation in order to fill in exercise C. So right here we have giving an opinion. So the answer is in my opinion from our conversation or you can say if you ask me or you can say maybe it's just me but I think alright so these three are similar and move on to the next one asking for agreement so we also have to find the expression from the conversation as well from part B so the answer is don't you agree uh, don't you think so or don't you think that's true alright so these three are also similar okay so we gotta move on to the next um, class activity uh, which is about listening a book of proverbs at that time I asked you to order this kind of proverbs so here are the answers so number one is beauty is only skin deep number two better late than ever number three is practice makes perfect number four is two heads are better than one so they're not in order so right here are the answers so you have to write down or you can double check with your answer and I also ask you to find out if Tina or Carl agrees with each proverb. Okay, so let's begin with the first one. Beauty is only skin deep. Tina agrees, so she says yes. And Carl also agrees. Okay, number two, better late than ever. So she said no. Tina said no. And Carl said yes. Number three, practice makes perfect. So Tina said yes, and Carl said also, also said yes as well. So they agree with this uh, proverb. And last one, number four, uh, both of them don't, let's say, don't agree with this. All right, so they believe that uh, still they can work individually. They don't need somebody to have, okay? And another one, uh, that is your vocab. So let me... Uh, zoom in so that you can see a uh, clear picture so lesson C I ask you to match uh, the words and the definition and also in part B you have to find uh, words uh, to fit with these prefixes all right I think you remember prefixes we learned that prefix uh, is a group of letters that that we added all right in front of uh, the other words but the power of speech is still the same so the difference is only the meaning alright so before we talk about B let's focus on A uh, number one agreeable goes to C friendly and pleasing considerate is thinking of the needs of others so you think about the other more than you because you don't want to have or you don't want to make anybody upset so you are considerate Decisive is letter D, uh, making decisions quickly. All right, fair, treating people equally or right. Okay, number five, honest, letter G, truthful, mature, letter H, behaving in a responsible way. Okay, and uh, patient, letter E, waiting without getting annoyed. And last one is reliable. You can say letter F doing what is expected or promised people can believe in you okay and now let's go to B complete the chart with the opposites of the words in part A then listen check your answers I think when you listen you get all the answers right so but I just want to double check make sure that you get the right answer so im we have immature we also have impatient and in we have inconsiderate that is the opposite of considerate and indecisive okay and aren't unfair unreliable okay so these are the answers for part B 
Another uh, class activity that I have to check is about this listening. So, um, time to say you're sorry, okay? So, I want to focus on part B right here. The question is, what word does Lens use to describe himself? I think you probably get the right answer. So, he said that inconsiderate, right? And he has to say sorry to her. Alright, so that's it for this uh, class activity checking. So I need to move on to our lesson today. Uh, present perfect with for and since. I think you probably have learned present perfect, right? Uh, whether you remember or not. So let's get it started with present perfect once again. But today we also focus on for and since. We need to find out the difference between for and since. So let's see the definition right here. Use the present perfect to describe an action that began in the past and continues to now. All right. So it 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 just an action that we we started or we began in the past and continues to the present. And remember that something that continues to the present is not uh, the action is only the result of the action. Understand that? Once again, something that continues to now here is not about the action. It's the result of the action. So actually, the action already finished in the past, but we don't know exact time. And the result of that action continues to the present. Okay? And we use for to specify the amount of time uh, what is it exactly the amount of time and you probably know that the amount of time refers to duration of time or the number of time okay and we use since to specify the starting point or the beginning all right of uh, the particular of time okay so let's understand for and sin more so once again for is about uh, the amount of time as you can say duration as you can see right here, we have 10 minutes, 2 hours, several days, a month, 6 years, a long time, quite a while. So these are duration of times. And sin is different from 4. You see that they are very specific. So 3 o'clock last night, Monday, October 2009, high school, and I was a kid. Uh, when you take a look at when I was a kid right here, it's a class, right? Uh, but that clause is in the past simple tense. And this is considered to be specific time in the past. And that is correct. So we also use specific time in the past, which is about past simple right here, with sense. So we cannot use a clause with for. Again, for is about duration. Sin is about specific time. Take a look at this example. How long have you been friends? So we've been friends for six years. So six years is a duration, okay? Since so middle school, uh, middle school is specific time, so that we use with since, or the starting point, all right, or the beginning of time. Several so days is about number of days, so we use four. Last weekend, this is starting point or specific time, so we use since, all right? Okay, so. Let's go to exercise A. Uh, I'm not going to ask you to do this exercise. So we're going to try out together uh, in this session. Uh, I don't I don't want you to you know focus much whenever it comes to for and since. Sometimes you don't need to read the whole sentence. What you do care is about the rest of the time expression right here. So by just looking at those time expressions we know exactly whether we should use for or since once again for its duration sin is a starting point or you can say uh, a particular or specific time in the past so if you take a look number one he got married we don't need to read the the sentence the whole sentence we just read the last and then you probably can get the answers he got married that is past simple so we cannot use for but we can use since all right, because sin is used with specific time or a starting, a starting time, a starting point. Okay. 
1981 is also specific time look at number two is specific time and we cannot use four so the answer is sin so number one and number two we use with since and number three you see six hours is about duration so the answer must be four you cannot use with since because six hours is duration okay a long time is for a long time because it's about duration okay so number three and four we use with four number five he started his new job look at that it's a clause in the past simple form so it's just like this I was a kid and we use with since all right so since clause is past simple then the answer for number five right here is since number six three months is durations so that you don't need to care much just just use four right here high school is very specific in the past so the answer must be since all right so number six again is four number seven is since what about number number eight <coughs> sorry jessica hector have been married 25 years uh, as you can see right here 25 years refers to duration of time so when you talk about duration of time we have to use four okay so once again number one the answer is since number two since number three four number four four number five since number six four number seven since and number five sorry number eight is four all right so if you have any questions please leave your comments or question below the lesson all right thank you so let's go on to next we are not going to talk about number four uh, because it's about speaking it's pretty hard for us to have this activity done in PUC online classroom so let's go to reading so in this reading uh, I want you to read uh, all right and the title of this reading is what is your personality so you might be friendly you might be um, serious or creative I don't know exactly but when you read this uh, text you probably know yourself more all right so when were you born you have to find out when read the description of your zodiac sign zodiac is something like uh, your ima imaginary area through which the sun moon and planets appear to travel I mean they travel from time to time which some people believe influences our lives so when when they travel it affects uh, all of us okay so just read this you will find out exactly what kind of personality you are okay the sign of the zodiac for example i was born in february so i need to find a specific time so right here is from january 21st to february 19th so i was born in february so i can simply learn something about the time that I was born what kind of person I am okay so let's take a read a little bit about this so I was born in February I can say that I am creative I think I agree and care about other people's feelings yes absolutely right and but I can sometimes be difficult to work with yeah i i totally agree i mean i believe in this 100 percent because this can describe my own personalities all right and this is absolutely right and maybe you are different all right it doesn't matter you you probably were born somewhere on uh, july 25th and then you can just read here all right uh, leo okay so i want you to take a uh, read this and after reading i want you to go to part b okay read the chart complete the sentences with the correct zodiac sign so i want you to read and focus on this exercise which sign 
all right um, with uh, that is correct with the meaning right here head asking for things which one exactly so you have to read all right and uh, on Wednesday I will give you the answers for this reading okay and number two three four right here I'm not going to focus on because it's pretty hard to ask you to do right here uh, through the online one so I think I would like to end their lessons right now and if you have once again questions please drop the question uh, in a comment or you can go to our telegram group chat and you ask me questions right there all right so thank you so much for your attention everybody and your participation uh, I have to say goodbye right now have a good day everyone I see you on Wednesday thank you